Hello and welcome back to the Django Admin series. This tutorial doesn't really need an introduction. All we're going to do here is replace the existing Django Admin homepage with your own custom homepage. So we're just following the same pattern from tutorial three, creating a custom admin area. So we're going to need to import here um, the contrib admin. So let's just bring that in so we can make some overwrites of the admin. And then we'll create a new class here, going to call this blog admin area, and then just extending from admin admin site. That's going to give you then access to do some or to create a new admin area. So I'm just going to give it a site header, which is just the um, name that will appear on the homepage here. So it would say blog admin or whatever you've described it to be. And then we go ahead and just uh, make that then available. So then we can go ahead and add some different models. So we'll just uh, register the post model that's inside of our model here. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And notice here, the, the difference here is that we're not using admin, we're gonna use blog site to do that. So next up, we're going to need a URL for this so we can actually access this new admin area. So head over to the URLs. So I haven't set, made a separate URL for the blog, but you could alternatively do that and place it within the blog URLs. So we're just gonna use the main core application URLs for this. So first of all, we just need to bring in the from the blog admin, we need to import the blog site. So we bring that in. So that was, if you just check out the, the naming conventions here in the, in the admin area. Um, so we've called this blog site. So we're bringing that in and we're just making a new URL pattern. So we're going to now add a new admin area to the blog admin URL. We're going to add a new URL in <laughs> the blog admin. So that's going to take us to the blog site URL. So let's just go ahead and test this. So this is a blog admin. There we go. So now we're in the blog admin area. So with that little bit of setup, we can now go ahead and think about how we're going to change this and create our own uh, login template. So to structure this with your project, you're probably utilizing a template folder. So let's just go ahead and create a, a template folder. And probably in your template folder, you have, for example, if you've got blog and bookstore, you've put all the blog templates inside of the blog and all the um, bookstore templates inside of the bookstore folder, of course. So we're gonna create a new folder called admin. Now, alternatively, I guess, what we could do is uh, just delete that. Uh, we could create an, a new folder in actual fact called blog. And then inside of that folder, I guess we would put admin and then put the template files inside of there. So because we're using template files, uh, don't forget you'll need to set that up in your settings file. So uh, head over to the core in this case, settings. And then if you haven't already done so, just configure the directory um, for that. So I'm gonna be utilizing um, the templates folder. So I just set that up like that. So we're using OS. So let's just go ahead and also just import OS in. Whee. Okay, so that's all done now. Okay, so next up, let's go into our blog admin folder and then just create a new file. Uh, I guess we're going to call this uh, login, I guess, dot HTML. So that's going to be our new template for this admin area. So because it's likely that we're going to need to utilize CSS and in our project, um, I'm just going to set up the static folder so we can serve the CSS file from the static folder. So I'm in the settings of our core here. I'm just going to set up the static root to a static folder that we're going to place inside of this project. So in the root directory of our project, just going to set up, set up our static folder and then just head over to the URLs and then we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, set it up for uh, local development. So we're going to utilize settings and import static there and then just go ahead and just add the add at the end of the URL patterns here, this concatenation of static settings dot static URL, etc. So that's just going to allow us to serve a static folder from within the local development server. So what we can do now is just 
go ahead and run the collect static. That would just uh, create say, all the files that we need to uh, run the admin area really um, at this point. So let's go ahead and manage pi and then collect static. There we go. So in the static folder now, you can see we've got some CSS, fonts, images, and JS. Those are kind of dependencies that your admin area is going to be utilizing. Obviously, this would be utilized in a live server environment. Those would be the files that the admin area would utilize. So I guess the best way to work here is to find the template of the existing admin page and then just copy that in and just made some, make some overrides, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can find that. So this is my root directory here for my Django application. And I'm using a lot, utilizing the virtual environment here. So I'm going to go inside of that because remember what we do is we pip install applications and that'll be in the virtual environment. So inside of here, we're going to probably have uh, a lib for library and then site packages. So these are all the packages that we've pip installed. And obviously one of them is going to be Django. Uh, you would imagine. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a look in Django. And then let's have a look to see if we can find in here uh, the admin area. So we need to go into the contrib and then let's look for the admin. And then I guess there's going to be templates. Okay, so inside of templates, we've got admin. Inside of here, we should have uh, login. There we go. So I'll copy that across or let's just open that up actually. Um, so we'll just open that up with Visual Studio. See if we've got it in the list. We do. Okay. So this is our admin page right here. So I guess a good thing to do was just to kind of copy this. Uh, then we need to just open up our Let's just open up, let's just close that. Let's open up our templates. Here we go. And then the login, here it is. And let's just paste that in. Okay, so we can just remove that now. So all we've done is we copied and pasted the, the login, the existing log, Django login page over to our new login page we made in the admin area here, the templates admin area. So let's go ahead now and hook this up to our new admin area. So let's just uh, remove everything here and just bring this down. Okay. So in the blog, we had the admin area. So at the moment, we've just got the site header. So now what we can do is define the, you can see here, the login template. So that's the login template that we're going to use. And then where we're going to find that. So that's going to be in templates and then slash and uh, now the chances are we're not going to need templates in actual fact so let's just go ahead and select inside of templates we have blog and then admin okay so let's just try out blog slash admin and then slash login.html so if you head over to the admin, that seems to be working absolutely okay. Obviously there was a problem. Uh, you need to make sure you name the template folder uh, templates and not templates. So I fixed that little problem as we um, completed that task. So just make sure you've named that template. So obviously we've got blog and then admin and then the login template. So let's go ahead to see if this is actually working um, by just making a modification. So instead of login, let's say uh, login here, for example. Uh, so a small modification, see if this works. There we go. So we did absolutely nothing there. Um, so um, I'll just remove that. And then we just moved down a bit, pretend we didn't do that. Uh, so let's just go back to the page. Uh, what can we change? So let's just change uh, the login button. Just wanted something simple. Uh, the value is login. So let's just change it to login here. 
There we go, so we've made that change. So you can clearly see that, or well, you can now see that the file that we're working from is the file that we're looking at here. So at this point, we just need to follow a, pr a process as you might do if you're going to build a, a typical HTML page. Uh, so inside of static, I've made a new folder called blog, and then I made a new folder called admin. And inside of there, I've created a new file called login.css. So what we're gonna do first is just take the CSS from the existing admin. So because we've used static and we collected um, static files, we've got a folder here called admin and a CSS folder. So inside of here, we've got the existing login CSS for the login page. So we can just go ahead and grab that and close that. And now we can go into our new folder, blog admin. And inside of admin, we've got a new file called login.css. And we've just pasted uh, the new file into there. So just to test to see if it's working, I've changed the background color to black. Um, so let's just change it to a nicer color and black. There we go. So we changed the color of the background. Now at the moment, that's not gonna make any changes. This is because we need to now tell Django to utilize this new CSS page. So head over to the, just put this down, head over to your templates in the login template again. Now notice at the moment your login template is utilizing, if you can just about see that. Um, let's just go ahead and wrap that. So you can just about see here uh, that the current CSS is from the admin folder, the existing admin folder in your static folder. Uh, so we wanna change that. So let's just change that to, it's going to be blog, admin, and login CSS. So and login CSS, there we go. So that changes over to the new CSS page. And then when I refresh, um, wow, that's a bit strange. Uh, it's gone to to this type of setup. Uh, so wasn't expecting that necessarily. Uh, so blog, let's just double check, blog, admin, login CSS. Okay, now it didn't change the background color. Um, so I'd imagine there's maybe a problem here. So the login background should be green at this point. So let's just do a hard refresh. Okay, so that didn't work. So this is probably one that's worth troubleshooting. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the view page source. Now you can see here that we have all the access here to the static files. So if I just click here, you can see that, well, that seems to be working. So Django or this page here is able to access this base CSS here. So that's all good. And then I'll go down to this one. You can see that it opens up the code and so on. But however, when I go down to my static blog admin login.css, you can see it raises a problem, which suggests that we can't actually access that CSS page. And is the reason why we're looking at a page that hasn't changed um, the background and has obviously manipulated the login form here and has changed to the left-hand side. So obviously there's a clear problem here to access the static blog admin login CSS. So that's a simple check that you can do if you find that your CSS isn't loading. So I've taken you down this path on purpose because I just wanted to show you something different that I've not shown you before. Uh, so this is what it's all about, I guess, a bit of learning. Uh, so in the settings file, you'll see here that we've got static root and that's gonna allow us to collect static and place it in the static folder. If I were to remove that, we wouldn't be able to run the collect static file. We wouldn't be able to create the static. Now, this is the interesting part. If you wanted to find out or debug the static even further, we could use this command here. So Python managed by find static. Now I've used this verbosity here just to provide us more different, different details. So there's different levels of verbosity here we can run one and two, et cetera. So that's gonna provide us more details in what it returns. Now, at the end here, I've typed in login.css because that's the file that I'm trying to look for. So this is gonna tell me um, the different places that Django is currently looking for. Uh, let me just save that, that's wrong. Let me just clear that, I'll do that again. There we go. So uh, this is currently where Django is looking for the static files. And notice here, it's going into our vent folder, our virtual environment folder and looking for the admin files here. So 
If you want to know where Django is looking for uh, static files, you've just got your answer here. Now, one thing that's interesting here, remember, uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with this, when you go live, when you develop, or when you deploy this application to a server, obviously you're not going to use that static location because you've got all the admin CSS over here in the static area. Obviously, you're going to use um, the static uh, URL to sort that out. Now, if I were just to, for example, uh, remove this here, this static root, and add in the static files directory, let's just remove that because we can't have that the same directory. Uh, so we'll remove that. So what happened now is if I run the same command again to look to see where Django is looking for static files, you can now see it's looking in two locations, the static folder and also the back end there. So now I've got the case of I can now see where Django is looking for static files. So I can be a little bit assured of where the static files are going to be um, served from. So I'm pretty confident now that this is going to work because we're looking in static first. And this is where all my static files are, the main folder here, file. So I've gone ahead already um, in, the, uh, in the admin login and we changed the color. So we changed the color to green. So let's just uh, bring up this server again and then go back to our admin. And you can clearly see we've made uh, a change already. So all I need to do now really is uh, go ahead and have a look at this file here and just go ahead and just make some different changes that I wanted. Uh, if we go back into the, the template blog admin login, obviously that's the page that uh, we've just changed the static location. So blog admin login.css. So that's using our custom CSS page. Okay, so at this point you can just go crazy, add your CSS, etc. Whatever you want on this page. Um, if you're familiar to HTML and CSS, apologies if you're expecting me to kind of make some crazy things here. I just wanted to show you how to do it and I was kind of expecting you to now be able to take over and add some color or whatever it is you want to do on this page. But hopefully, although that was a really kind of simple tutorial, hopefully there was some points there to uh, learn or there were some new things that you've learned, particularly about static files, because that can be a really pain uh, for new developers coming to Django. Static files, they can be a little bit of a pain to set up and manage. Uh, so those cons are really useful to just uh, drill down and to troubleshoot Django a little bit further in terms of static files. So this tutorial was just a, a simple introduction into some of the different overrides and templating that we can perform in Django. We will cover this uh, later in this series. We'll go a little bit deeper into templating for sure. Uh, but for now, hopefully that was a, a useful uh, exercise to go through for you. And hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial.